Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock. Happy Friday and welcome to Up North at 4. Today we'll learn about what the Merrill Optimist Club is doing to cut down on e-waste. We'll meet another member of the Wisconsin Windigo organization. Plus, court will be in session. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. <laughs> As a Wisconsinite, there's nothing better than a cheesy snack, and I'd say Cheez-Its are up there with the best of them. Now, the company is partnering with Pandora to release boxes of Cheez-Its that are aged by rap music. Apparently, exposing the cheese to hip-hop enhances the taste and the smell. The company used songs from A Tribe Called Quest, Snoop Dogg, and The Beastie Boys. Hopefully, their rivals aren't planning on sabotage. Ever since losing Game 7 to the Boston Celtics, the Milwaukee Bucks have been focusing on getting better for next season. In fact, we have some footage of the Bucks at the gym recently. Let's take a look. I'm just kidding. That's not the Milwaukee Bucks, but it is a living, breathing deer that broke into a rec center in Iowa last night. Apparently, the deer came in through an open window and left the same way it came in. I'm also hearing reports that John Horse, the Bucks GM, will sign that deer to a 10-day contract next season. History has been made in the auto industry recently, where the world's most expensive car was just sold for $142 million. The 1955 Mercedes-Benz SLR is a very rare car. There's apparently only two of them in the world. The car maker did say the money would go towards a scholarship fund. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to convince Jeff Weller we need one of these bad boys as a new station vehicle. A new study has come out and it shows that children with strong family connections are more likely to succeed in life. Researchers said they surveyed over 37,000 kids in more than two dozen countries and they found that kids with a greater level of family connection were 50% more likely to thrive in life. And while that does sound awesome and all, it does require a lot of work. Therefore, to help my kids become successful, I'll be naming all of my future children Jeff, spelt with a G. Yeah. And Chief Meteorologist Jeff with a oh, G Weller is. joins us now. Jeff, what do you think about that name? Oh, I like that name. All right, so we made it, Nate. Uh, the weekend's here, the late May weekend's here. It's not going to feel like it, though, with temperatures hanging out basically in the 50s tomorrow and also for Sunday. So, yeah, not so good. But out there now, there is some daylight getting through or some sunshine. Uh, it feels good, but, again, it's cool for this time of the year with highs back in the 50s today. Right now, we're at 63 in Rhinelander, a west-northwest West breeze as well. Uh, so yeah, this is not normal. We should be upper 60s, even a couple low 70s. We did not do that today. 63 in Wausau for you, a west wind around 10, making it feel just a bit cooler in Wausau right now. Looking outside around the horn, everybody's hanging out in the 50s, the 60s out there, mostly 60s out there currently, as we are getting a little bit of sunshine through. Uh, that's heating things up pretty quickly across north central Wisconsin, but we're not going to stay there. Much colder air is kind of flooding in tonight. We'll have lows down near 40, and then tomorrow not rebound much at all up near 54 53 for Sunday I know it's the weekend bad timing but overall kind of a slow climb back up to maybe 70 by this time next week all right lots of cloud cover across the area several rounds of weather came through last couple of days uh, lots of reports of severe weather in there a large hail gusty winds uh, but that's now pushed off into parts of Michigan uh, upper lower Michigan here for us though we're in a kind of a drying out phase although there are still a couple sprinkles and maybe even a rumble of thunder out there tonight, uh, but it'll quickly be out of here before midnight. Here's the radar again. A couple of sprinkles in here moving very quickly to the north and east about 55 miles per hour. If you get under one of these, you could hear some thunder and a quick burst of some heavier rain. Our forecast then tonight though is decreasing clouds for a while. Still a couple showers left over and look at these low temperatures down here at 39. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. Research shows that adding menthol actually makes tobacco more addictive. And this is a real issue. Tobacco companies have been targeting low-income neighborhoods and racial and ethnic groups for decades. Tobacco is changing parents. We've got to keep up. Dateline tonight, a beloved doctor, an accused killer. How could they be the same man? People aren't putting this puzzle together. I was stunned. Pursuing justice is worth it. Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. Schrader's is ready.
ready for spring and summer. Our clothing boutique, new kudo rings, are handmade in Germany. Our garden center, with beautiful flowers, and every grandma needs a little retail therapy. We're ready to help you find something you'll love at Straters in Andigo. At Garden Path Greenhouse, you'll find hundreds of varieties of gorgeous, locally grown plants, common favorites, and rare species. Garden Path Greenhouse is in full bloom. Come see us today for the best selection. Garden Path Greenhouse, just west of US 51 off Double N Wausau. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here, go anywhere. Love that Chevy Blazer. That's our next SUV. Love that Equinox. That's our next SUV. Nice Trailblazer. It was love at first sight. What? The Chevy family of SUVs. Find new options. Find new roads. It's Chevy Sport Utility Spring. Well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing or get a $1,000 cash allowance on all 2022 Equinox models. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Our kids have to navigate a world that is crowded with flashy tobacco products and manipulative tactics most parents don't know anything about. Tobacco companies are working hard to keep young people hooked and parents out of the loop. Tobacco is changing parents. We've got to keep up. And welcome on back to Up North at 4. I'm here with Sarah Sturm, who is with the Merrill Optimist Club, and you guys are doing this e-cycle event coming up. Tell us a little bit about that event and what maybe people can expect. I mean, what is an e-cycle event? Well, electronics are the fastest growing uh, waste stream. Mm -hmm. So with this electronic recycling event going on that we partner with the Good uh, News Project out of Wausau, we are able to get some of that uh, recycling or the waste to get recycled right, right. instead of going to our land for landfills and into our water stream. So this event uh, is June 3rd and June 4th. On June 3rd, it's from noon to 5, and June 4th, uh, Saturday, it's from 9 a.m. to noon. Businesses can call, actually, the Good News Project as well and reserve a time slot for Friday, June 3rd, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So if they just want a quick, convenient, uh, not having to wait in line kind of thing, they can get it and drop it off um, and go on their way. Oh, nice, perfect. But otherwise, you know, you just come on in. It's at the Merrill Festival grounds, the cell building and the Merrill Optimists do all the work for you. You just bring your electronics, and I'll get to what we take in a minute here, but otherwise you bring your electronics and your form of payment, and we do all the heavy lifting for you, and it's 45 cents per pound and $15 per smoke detector. Okay. But otherwise, the electronics that we take, uh, anything, you know, computers, TVs, uh, cell phones, microwaves, um, anything that you can really fit in your car. <laughs> right. We'll take it. And <laughs> then we weigh it, obviously, and that's how you get, you know, how much you owe. But really, it's anything with a cord. We even take cords and mm -hmm. wires as well. Because, so. yeah, like, I, everything's so digital nowadays. You know, we're moving away from paper. Everyone's using computers, phones for virtually everything. Right. What happens then after the fact when you guys bring those stuff in? Like, is it just, hey, we can take parts from it and use it for other things? Or how does that all work? We leave that up to the Good News Project um, because they're the organization that's really um, behind all of the recycling par portion of it. They just need the people to help with the drop-off mm -hmm. areas. Um, but you can bring it down to Wausau, too, if you ever need to. Right. But otherwise, they just need the organizations that can volunteer and be the the hands of it. But yeah, I would assume they must take it apart, use what they can, but uh, again, keeps it out of the landfill and right, reuses right. it for another purpose. So it's not getting into the, like I said, into not the just water. sitting there, right, yeah, yeah, just sitting there wasting away, wasting away yeah, for whatever. Yeah, yeah, so, so how did like you guys kind of get involved with the Optimist Club? Did they reach out to you? Uh, and how did this partnership sort of come together, I guess? Yeah, they reached out to us. Um, so our president, Randy Wixon, he, you know, they, he got a phone call and they said, hey, you know, our normal group wasn't able to do it this year. We haven't been able to do it for a couple years. Mm -hmm. Would your group be willing to step in and help out? And we, of course, said, yeah. And that's how this, you know, this all originated. It is a good fundraiser then for our group because obviously we get a portion of, 
whatever we get in. Mm -hmm. So um, anything that we can do to help, you know, bring more funds to our right. nonprofit is obviously something we're gonna. Everybody, every, so everybody's winning yeah. here. Is yeah, what it exactly, like. exactly. Well, my co-host Jeff Weller is not here right now, but he is our main meteorologist back at the station, and he has all sorts of equipment that he uses, reads weather. Can I take some of his stuff and bring it down? I won't tell him, but <laughs> would I be able to do that? Sure, yeah. I mean, we're not going to write the names on anyone that brought the stuff, so you know, all right, I so won't tell if you don't. Keep it quiet, yeah, and Jeff, yeah. if your stuff goes missing was not me it was probably somebody else but sarah thank you so much yeah one last time though if someone wants to come on down uh where could they find more information yeah so event? if you go to our facebook page it's merrill noon optimist you can actually find out all about the event um, and all the specifics but also you can find out what the optimists do in merrill and it's just a great organization that helps out the youth in our communities so sounds great well sarah thank you so yeah, much for joining you. me today and we'll be right back here on up north at four Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Complete your bathroom update with 11% off everything at Menards. Max has more than 1,000 shower doors, bathtubs, and shower kits to add luxury to your life. Save 11% on Max products. Complement your new tub or shower with a new vanity from Magic Woods Elements. The Stratton vanity offers on-trend gray finish with soft-closed doors and drawers. Magic Woods Elements vanities are 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I was out here all day yesterday and didn't get a bite. Got my bait at the other guy's shop. Where'd you get yours? Kurtz Island Sports Shop, of course. Kurtz Island Sports Shop, downtown Manaqua. In Wisconsin, everything's gotten so expensive because America's too dependent on China. So we sure know phony baloney policies when we see them. Senator Ron Johnson voted against cracking down on China with higher tariffs and tougher trade deals, and even voted against punishing China for manipulating its currency. No wonder everything keeps going up and up and up. Senator Johnson, stop making it easier on China and tougher on us. It started somewhere between a cuddle and a struggle. It's the side hug. Tween milestones like this may start at age nine. HPV vaccination, a type of cancer prevention against certain HPV-related cancers, can start then, too. <laughs> for most, HPV clears on its own. But for others, it can cause certain cancers later in life. Welcome! Hi. Now, as the dad cab, it's my cue to help protect them. Embrace this phase. Help protect them in the next. <laughs> Ask their doctor about HPV vaccination today. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. So with the new junior hockey team that's coming to Eagle River, we've been chatting with the folks who do a lot of the work off the ice. We met the head coach and also the woman making sure that players find places to live. And here's our previously unaired conversation from earlier this week. This week we're sort of meeting the members behind the scenes of the Wisconsin Winnego, the new junior hockey team in Eagle River. We met Blake Idola, the new head coach, and now we have Kim Simic, who is the billet family coordinator. And I don't know if a lot of people outside of the hockey world know what a billet family is. So could you just quickly explain for maybe people out there that are a little confused about that? Okay, so the billet family is the host family for the players mm -hmm. when they come to play and they travel all around the country, they need a place to stay. So right. you're actually adding somebody to your family and probably making them a lifelong friend of yours. And so it's a great way to be a part of the team, be a part of some young, great, men who are you know making hockey which is their love the next step in their career or whatever they decide to do mm -hmm. and you were just telling me too you're a hockey mom yourself your yep. kid uh, grew up playing played in the NAHL at one right. point and you were mentioning too like you still are in touch with his billet mom so to say right from when he played this is obviously like it's a 
a real relationship you can build with people, it, right? It is, and and they become a part of your life, and um, they're very nice young youth. I mean, they are courteous, they're determined, mm -hmm. they're committed, they're not fooling around, mm -hmm. and they appreciate anything you do for them. I mean, I, I just, you know, we had nine kids and eight played hockey, so oh. I know the, the, the run of it, and I am excited to have these kids come in Eagle River because I, and, you know, the North Woods here, mm -hmm. so that they'll always remember what a great place it is, and that we um, welcome them, and we do have a great place. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a great place for some kids to come. Totally, so, yeah. And yeah. of course, Eagle River too, the Wisconsin hockey capital, you know, for the state. This is a place, I think, everyone who's grown up here, they've heard about Eagle River. They want to play at the Eagle River right. home, right? Yeah. Um, I can just imagine that's a really cool experience for a lot of these guys, especially at this point. Yeah, and it is. I mean, I'm proud of the Dome. And when you walk in there, they're continually trying to do upgrades to keep mm -hmm. it you know, going and every time somebody says they come to town, like even with the new coach, I was like, did you get to the dome? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause that's why the pond hockey and everybody just loves it so much because it's such a unique and historic place. It definitely is. And it's like one of the, like you feel the history almost right. once you walk in. Yeah. But obviously for you being the family coordinator, I'm sure, because it's, it's a team that moved from Minnesota. They have players on this team now, and they kind of just said, hey, can you help find these guys' families? Right. What's that challenge like to get get them set up with uh, home for the next season? Well, it's uh, getting the word out right mm -hmm. now. It's, so this is brand new, just getting the word out and um, trying to just make a list of people who would consider it. And then I'd like to share a lot of great things about it so that they could um, really consider opening their homes to these young men. Mm -hmm. so. I, is it is it kind of hard to maybe convince some people like, hey, have this teenager come live in your home? Or are people obviously more open to it in your experience? Well, I, in, with my kids that went, it just seemed like the bill families uh, fell together. Now, I think because it's a brand new team mm -hmm. to our area that it's going to take a little work. But I think once it gets rolling and other people's neighbors and family people see when someone brings somebody in, like what a part of the family that person becomes mm -hmm. and uh, just being part of the team. I mean, I think it's a positive. Definitely. That's a real positive yeah. thing. And there's are, there are obviously benefits, you know, for the kids, like having a place to stay, a, mm -hmm. basically a family if they right. are away from their actual families. But the, the parents themselves, in a way, kind of get a benefit of like, hey, I can, you know, care for and root for this team. I have that personal connection. Right, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, we have a couch here, too. If anyone wants to, I guess, come sleep on a couch, they're more than, <laughs> more than welcome. I'd love to have a player come live at, this, right. at the station. Yes. I don't think that's maybe the best option, but hey, it's out there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so, Kim, if there, anyone is watching out there who are maybe interested in becoming a billet family, how, how what's the process like to kind of get started on that? Well, anybody can contact me. You can also go to the website that is going to have a link where you can sign up for more information, and then I'll be able to mm -hmm. contact you and share some information and try to see, you know, try to get the wheels going to see um, if this could be a good fit. And what's the website? It is, it is I think, windigo.com. Perfect. Right? I, think I believe. So. Yes, yes, we'll double check. It's new, so I just, yes. <laughs> Say the Wendigo, totally new name, yeah. new mascot, new everything. So, yeah. Kim, obviously, uh, we're hoping that this can help some of these guys yes. find some families you, for yeah. the upcoming season. We appreciate you coming on okay, today. Okay, so. well, I appreciate you guys letting us do this, so thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So, All right. Kim, thanks so much. We'll be right back here on Up North at 4. Okay. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. What would you do with $10,000? Listen to Wave 100.5 mornings at 720 to guess the three-digit combination that will open the radio cash vault to put ten grand in your hand. It's ten grand a day in May. Wave 100.5 Come out to Northern Pines and leave the cooking to us. Have a cold drink and relax as you enjoy the beautiful view of the lake and great food. Try our Friday night fish fry and seafood buffet. Come out to Northern Pines on Butternut Lake. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive because we were created for officers. But as we've evolved with the military, 
We've grown to serve all who've honorably served, no matter their rank or when they were in. A Marine just out of boot camp or a petty officer from 73. And even his kids and their kids. USAA is made for all who honorably serve and their eligible family members. Are we still exclusive? Absolutely. And that's exactly why you should join. Welcome to Patchouli Garden in Park Falls. We love authentic Indonesian patchouli and we specialize in our original custom blends. Everything with the Patchouli Garden name on it, we make right here in our store. Visit Patchouli Garden in the store or online. Spies, spies, spies. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show. This weekend only inside the Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center, Rothschild. Millions of inventory must be sold. Prices are slashed up to 60% off retail. So save thousands. Save big on new hot tub spas and saunas. Plus, see the Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spas by Master Spas. Hi, I'm Michael Phelps. Join the swimming revolution. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show. This weekend only inside the Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center, Rothschild. Visit 800spasale.com. What would you do with $10,000? Listen to Wave 100.5 mornings at 720 to guess the three-digit combination that will open the radio cash vault to put ten grand in your hand. It's ten grand a day in May. Wave 100.5. Welcome on back to Up North at 4, and we are taking you to court. Jeff and I have our very official uh, judge yeah, yeah. robes on. Low budget. Those are actually robes. Mine's just a trash bag. And our gavels, which is... Uh, Literally just hammers. Uh, but there's a big debate going on right now, Jeff. So I figured we could provide some legal advice for folks out there. Let's go to Ireland real quick, where the debate is raging on over the harp, the harp logo. Some people know it as the Guinness logo. Some people know it as the official emblem of Ireland. Well, Guinness is saying we should own the rights to that logo. And they said we trademarked it all the way back in 1876. That meant the Irish government then had to also trademark it, but then mm -hmm. flip it the other way, the logo. To make it somewhat different. To make it quote unquote different. Okay. So years later, the debate is still raging on who can claim the harp? And Jeff, I'm on the side of Guinness. I'm on the side of the government. So we disagree. We do. I don't like that. But I gavel first. Fair enough. I'll let you win that one. But obviously, there's a lot of debates in the world right yeah. now. And more than just Guinness, more than just a harp. And I, again, figured we could provide some legal expertise to the people out there who are debating with their friends over these very... They need answers. They do need answers, and we are here to provide them. So we're going to take our first case today. What is the best season between winter, spring, summer, and fall? Jeff, you are literally a weather meteorologist. My favorite is spring. Love You're spring. a spring guy, spring. so you like where we're at? Spring. I'm a fall guy. Why do you like spring? Uh, because it's before the summer. You okay. look forward to the summer. Okay, I can I can allow you getting that one, so okay. we'll, we'll declare that one. Let's take a look at our second case here. Is cereal a type of soup? No. 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 I see, I agree. I think there are two separate uh, types Milk of foods. isn't a broth. Right. But that's what people are debating, so I think we're in agreement. Cereal is not a soup. Decided. But we have a final case here that we need to put to bed. Let's take a, a gander. It's a huge one, all right? Everybody's, oh, who is the best weller between <laughs> Jeff and Theo? Jeff, I hate to say it, but I got to go with the four-legged blonde dog, Theo. Uh, he's not here today to uh, make his voice heard, so... But I think we can agree. Yeah. Okay. Going. The O is our the final wins. answer. The All right. This was fun, Jeff. We'll be right back here after court on Up North at 4. Visit Wildberry Market, the premier natural food store in the Northwoods, for all of your organic food and health needs. Grab a healthy lunch on the go, made fresh daily by our deli. Eat well, live well, be well. Wildberry Market in Minocqua and online. Enjoy the serenity of northern Wisconsin all year long. First stop, Chequagamon Adventure Company. Skis, skates, snowshoes, and fat bikes. Kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards. Chequagamon Adventure Company. Stop by the store or visit us online. Fun and a paycheck don't often go together. But what if they did? It's more enjoyable that way, for sure. They do here. It's a groundbreaking team. That's kind of a really good feeling. Serving guests from all over. Meeting new people every day, helping people out. Making a big difference. That's what we do. And yes, having a good time. We, we laugh a lot. <laughs> Join us on Team Kasurik. You don't work a day in your life if you love what you do. The rewards are many. Perfect statement. And people are having fun. <laughs> they sure are. Begin your new adventure here. 
Summer's here, and it's time to refresh your space, indoor or out. Get an incredible 25% off Slumberland low prices during our huge memorial sale at Slumberland. Explore our comfortable living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio, and more. Pay no interest for five years and get free doorstep shipping. Are you sleeping in pain but dread mattress shopping? Come to Slumberland, where each bed is rated for back support and softness. It takes all the guesswork out of finding your perfect bed. I'm Sarah Godlewski. I'm at the Supreme Court where it looks like Ron Johnson is going to get exactly what he wants. Overturning Roe v. Wade, reinstating Wisconsin's cruel abortion ban, and putting doctors in jail. But that's not what Wisconsinites want. We don't want politicians making health care choices for women. I'm Sarah Godlewski, and I approve this message because as your senator, I will never sit by and allow our rights to be stripped away. Join me. Let's fight back and defeat Ron Johnson. in life are free. Just wait until he hears about free installation from Feldco. Free installation? Are you kidding me? Yeah! Free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for one year. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends Memorial Day. Call now. All quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. <laughs> All right, Jeff, I don't want you to get rid of these robes just yet because we are on the search for the golden hodag with the hodag mm -hmm. scavenger hunt. And if we get there at the same time as someone and we're both both hands on the golden hodag, we might have to hold court to as to who the winner is. So, All right. It's going to be a cool ours. weekend. Temperatures in the 50s, so uh, bundle up, which sounds weird in late May. Yeah, but yeah. Eh, we'll get used to it. Here we go. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great weekend.